Hey everybody, welcome to another Surfside Hobby Star Wars Legion Battle Report video. Uh, since our last video, we've hit 200 subscribers, so thank you very much for all of those who subscribed and watched and left comments. Uh, it's been amazing, really appreciate you guys, and uh, let's keep this going. Tonight we're back on this desert battlefield map. Um, I've had a lot of questions about these buildings. These are 3D files that I purchased from Corvus Games Terrain, and I've printed them out on my Ender 5. Um, so that's where those are from, and the mat is Frontline Gaming. So here's the battlefield tonight. Um, Josh is bringing his Rebels, I'm bringing my Empire list. So let's go take a look. Here's my list tonight. I'm gonna go with uh, Palpatine as my commander. He's bringing Anger, Burst of Speed, Force Barrier, and Aggressive Tactics. Then I got the Royal Guards with the uh, Electro Staff, Protector, and Tenacity. I'm bringing along a set of Stormtroopers with the Medical Droid and the DLT. I have a Strike Team. I have my Shores with the T21B. We have a Snow Trooper Squad with uh, Del Miko. We have Mortar, and we got two Dubaks both with the T21B and Tenacity. That puts me at nine activations and exactly 800 points. All right, for our uh, Rebel list tonight, we've got a Rogue One themed uh, experimental list. Jin Erso, and uh, she's got Vigilance, Situational Awareness, uh, and just her default loadout uh, A110 uh, weapon, Blaster. Uh, then we have Cassian with his detachment of K2SO. Cassian has Situational Awareness, uh, Duck and Cover, Grappling Hooks, uh, and his A280 CFE um, Sniper Rifle Slash Blaster. K2SO with him, and uh, Jin's Blaster on K2SO. R2-D2 with no upgrades on R2-D2. Uh, then we have our three core units, which are Rebel Veterans. Uh, they have Recon Intel, uh, nothing else. Uh, Fleet Troopers, which are naked. And then the detachment for the Rebel Veterans, the Mark II Medium Blaster unit, uh, it is also naked. Uh, for the Rogue One theme, we've got Rebel Pathfinders. Uh, their upgrades have uh, Bistan, and I've got Death and Cover on them. Then we've got a couple vehicles. We've got the X-34 uh, Land Speeder, Gonk Droid on it, uh, Rifle Gunner, Shriv uh, Surgav. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right for the pilot. Uh, and it's Mark II Medium Blaster for a weapon. And the newly painted uh, minted bus here. Trying that out. It's got Unorthodox Tactician, uh, Gonk Droid for Shields, Hotshot Pilot, and the Quad Laser Gun on top. That is uh, 9 activation. I'm sorry, 10 activations in total. Uh, and 798 points. So we will be using my battle deck. Okay, so here's uh, Josh's battle deck. Josh, you got the first veto. Uh, I think we'll get rid of Sabotage the Moisture Vapors. I'll get rid of Battle Lines since I saw you brought R2 along. Skip. Alright, then I'll get rid of Disarray. So that's going to be Key Positions, Major Offensive, and Limited Visibility. Okay, so here we are after deployment. You can see that uh, for Key Positions, here's our center one. I put mine right there on that building, and Josh's is on that building where he infiltrated with Cassian. Josh has uh, infiltrated on this building with his path Pathfinders and Jin. Uh, the Rebel Veterans reconned up over here. I was able to scout up to this building, but besides that, um, everyone's just kind of hidden away over here and over here. I'm not really sure... I got a lot of melee, but uh, everyone's up on roofs, and my dewbacks, they're stuck on the ground. So I'm not sure what the hell I'm going to do with them. I don't like the looks of this. For uh, terrain and cover, all the buildings will be heavy cover. The rocks and plants are light cover. And the uh, plants are also difficult terrain. Okay, round one coming up. It's round one. Josh played Complete the Mission, 
Jiren Erso gains low profile, and when a friendly trooper is issued an order, may gain a suppression token. When the friendly trooper unit with a face-up order token activates, during its activation, it cannot become panicked or suppressed, and at the end of its activation, it can remove a suppression token. And I played standing orders. So Josh is going first. I'm going to go with uh, my tripod here. He's going to take an aim and fire at these uh, scout troopers. All right. Mark two firing on these scouts. Uh, crit two hits. I spend my aim. So three hits and a crit. So that means two will go through with heavy cover. Low profile will take one away. I rolled two blanks. I should only roll one, but that's a that's a dead unit. I pulled my special forces, so I guess I'll repay Josh the favor and take an aim and shoot the Mark II medium blaster. Mark II is in heavy cover, reduced down to one, and I have a Pierce one, so we need some crits. That's an ugly looking dice. What happened? Here? All right, so I'm going to re-roll both of these. Two hits. Uh, cover takes that one away. And I got Pierce one, Josh, so... All right, I'm going to go with R2. He's going to take a dodge and a standby. Okay, I pulled the do back. Going to go with this guy here. And uh, we're just going to move on up. Reposition at the end. All right, we got a core unit. I'm going to go with the fleet troopers. They're just going to activate, rally, and that's their activation. They're not going to get off the bus. All right, pulled my second do back. He's just going to uh, follow the other one. We're up here. I pulled an operative. I'm going to go with Cassian. He is going to take a dodge and a standby. Pull the core. I'm going to go with the mortar, and he's going to uh, take an aim and a standby. All right, pulled an operative. I'm going to go with K2SO. He's going to use both his actions to clamber up one without rolling dice, or climb up one rather without having to roll. For Pulled my core, I'll go with these shores here, and we're going to take an aim and a standby, just in case someone tries to flank us. Pulled a uh, vehicle. Um, go with the X-34. It's got Shriv Shurgov on it, so I'm going to give uh, R2-D2 a suppression and a dodge. It's going to take its compulsory move. I'm going to take a regular move for my first action. Around right, because nothing that's, that's not range two. Oh, that's range two, though. All right, then I'll trigger my standby and shoot you, yeah. and then you'll shoot me. Yeah, okay. All right, well, the land speeder triggered my standby on the shores, so here we go. They have critical ones, so I'll save one of those. Here's another crit, spend this aim. Might as well re-roll these. All right, so I got two crits, Josh. You have full on armor, right? Mm-hmm. So just two crits. I'm gonna use my shields. Mm -hmm. oh. X-34 shooting at the shores. Oh, look at all those blanks, folks. Here's my aim. 
I knocked out a hit there. So I got one crit, two hits. No, I got another hit there. Three hits and a crit. Four. Four. Okay, Boy, don't cover. It sucks. All those blacks, huh? Oh well. Saving three, one dead shore. Okay, I pull the core. I'm going to go with the snow troopers. And we are going to move up. And we will take a shot at the X-34. All right, the snow's with Dell shooting at the X-34. We got uh, one crit. None of these matter. Oop, oop. That's a hit. All right, hit on X-34. All right, pulled our other vehicle. We're gonna go with the bus here. It's going to do its free reposition before move. And I'm going to go one movement here. Make sure I'm okay. And then with my second action, I'll shoot at the do back. AA-5 speeder truck, aka bus, shooting do back. Oh, look at all those. Oh my gosh, four blanks. They don't surge. They don't surge. And so it's light cover, so just a suppression. Just a suppression. I got a core. I'm going to go with these stormtroopers, and I don't really know where to go. This alley looks like a death trap, so they're just going to run across to the other side. Hopefully they don't get run over next round. Okay. Well, we got an operative. We can go with Jen. She's going to quick thinking, uh, take an aim at a dodge, and then a standby for a second action. All right, I'm going to go with my uh, roll guards now. They're going to move right into the middle of this alleyway. We'll take a shot at the tripod. All right, the Royal Guard shooting at the Mark II in heavy cover. So that's five, two good, taken away. So you're looking at three, Josh. Hmm. It's dead. All right. All right, I'm going to go with the Pathfinders here. And we're going to take an uh, aim and a standby. And finally, I'm going with Palpatine. He's just going to, uh, uh, let's see, we'll move up here. And then I'm going to pull the strings on the Royal Guards. And uh, get them hiding behind this wall here. Well, with the last uh, core unit I've got here, Rebel Veterans, I'm going to move the uh, commander here out to the edge. So we're still in base contact. And then shoot the Royal Guards. Uh, Rebel Veterans, no aim, shooting into uh, Rail Guards. Look at that, one hit, four plaques. <laughs> oh, it's a hit. So here's the state of the board at the end of round one. Uh, I was able to take the Mark II Medium Blaster off. Uh, Josh uh, took a couple single unit uh, minis from my side. His X-34 was able to recover one of those shields. And, uh, yeah, not a whole lot that round with limited visibility. So, round two coming up, and limited visibility makes it range three now. Range three for attacks. It's round two. Josh played volunteer mission. When casting and andor issues an order... Uh, that unit recovers and gains Danger Sense 1 and may gain a Suppression. And I played an entire Legion 
Okay, uh, we rolled off and I won priority, so I'm going to go with this do back first, and I'll take a su suppression to spur. Let's reposition. And we're going to get into melee with these veterans and attack. All right, do back meleeing those rebel veterans. And a couple blanks, we sir, we have critical two, so that's going to be three crits. Three crits? Three crits, Josh. Good. One save, two dead, two suppression. We go with Cassian. Cassian's going to take an aim. I'm going to shoot at this do back here in light cover. All right, we're shooting at the uh, do back. In light cover. Oop. Uh, two hits. I have light cover and armor one. Yeah, but I can improve it to crit, so which I'm gonna do with the and I have pierce, so I'll just give you one one wound, one suppression. Okay. Use the aim to improve it to a crit. Okay, I'm gonna pull from the stack, which I know is two core units, and I'll go with the shores who will aim and shoot at the X34. Okay, uh, we're looking for crits here. That's critical one, so that helps. I'll have to spend my aim. These three hits will mean nothing. That's four hits. Alright, we had uh, four hits and a crit. Uh, cover one and uh, uh, armor two will take away three of those hits, so we had a crit and a hit. Uh, I used one of the shields for the crit. I'm now rolling the defense for the other hit. Hey, we blocked it. Yeah, I got an operative. Uh, I'm going to go with Chin. She's going to quick thinking uh, for an aim and a dodge. And then she's going to take a shot here at the scout trooper across the way. All right, let's see what we got. All right, good. We got two on the first roll, so I don't even need to use my aim. We'll just kill that sucker. You got Pierce? Yeah. Okay. He's dead. Okay, I'm going to go back to my stack, which is a core unit. And these snows will just aim and shoot the X-34. Uh, might as well do it now while I have my full force. Because he's going to mow me down, I'm sure. Okay, we're fishing for crits here against the X-34. No crits there. And uh, that's three hits, Josh, and that's going to be nothing. You have uh, cover, cover and armor two. Cover and armor two, so that will... Dodge and stand by with R2. I pulled an operative, and that's all he can do. So he's going to dodge and stand by. All right, I'm going to go with my mortar. I'll aim and shoot at the pathfinders up on the roof there. All right, that's critical one and suppressive. Pathfinders have heavy cover. There's a crit... I'll spend my aim. Okay, so just one crit, Josh. Duck and cover, take a suppression, roll in two for danger sense. Hoping we're lucky. Let the suppression uh, wars begin. <laughs> and we're not. Not lucky. Alright, uh, I got a vehicle going with the bus. Uh, forgot to do my unorthodox tactician at the beginning of the activation phase here of the round. So anyway, I did that. Got three uh, uh, aims, so I gave out aims to uh, myself, the rebel veterans, and the uh, pathfinders over here. Uh, I believe uh, myself is an eligible unit. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, internet. Uh, then I'm going to take a, another aim and shoot at the um, rail guards. All right, uh, bus shooting at the uh, Royal Guards. Couple of aims. No cover there. Uh, a lot of surges that don't count, so that's no good. But we got two hits. On here. So first aim. Second aim. Four hits. That's three saves, one wound. They already have a wound, so that's going to be 
A dead mini. Okay, I'm going to go with this do back. Uh, I was able to roll off the suppression, um, but I'm going to take a suppression. If I wanted to take an aim, move, shoot. To move up, let's see. We'll reposition first. And we'll take a shot at the Pathfinders. Okay, do back shooting Pathfinders and heavy cover. Oh, that's going to require an aim right there. Oh, geez, nothing. Not even a suppression. I had pulled Special Forces. That's my Pathfinders. Uh, I was able to roll off one suppression. Uh, I am suppressed but not panicked. So I only have one action. I'm going to take that to uh, fire at do back. Alright, Pathfinders with a whole lot of whites at the, uh... Do back. Ooh, that's a lot of blanks. Look at all those blanks, are you kidding me? Right? Jeez, even my one black's a blank. Well... Search to hit, so I hit and, uh... Crit, so I have impact one. I can get two crits out of that. Two crits! Disappointing. Two blocks. All right, I'm gonna go with Palpatine. He's just gonna move up a little bit. We wanna be uh, range one of these guys. We are. And then I'll pull the strings on my Dewback and have him wipe out those veterans, hopefully. Okay, Dewback melee in the veterans. Uh, that's a crit. And three hits, Josh. So you want to? You got some dodges over there, right? I got a dodge. Yeah, I use a dodge. My suppression doesn't matter for melee, right? Right. So then so you're looking on three, four after the dodge. Four? Yeah, five. I had five. Uh, you're not. You're not fun. Oh, they're all dead. With K2SO, he's gonna take a dodge and a standby. I'm going to go with these Royal Guards. Uh, I don't want to stray too far from Palpatine. I made that mistake once. So they're just going to aim and shoot at the bus. All right, Royal Guards, just fishing for crits here. Ooh, there's three. Holy smokes. Jeez, of course. All right, three crits, Josh. Three beautiful crits. Use two shields and roll for one. Hey! Alright, we've got a vehicle. One with the X-34. Going to fire at the Snows slash... Adele? X-34 firing at the uh, Snows. Search for hit. Looks Search for me. hit. It's not bad for my normal. So we're looking at five? Five. Oh, I forgot. Shriv's got his thing, so he's going to give out a dodge and a suppression to. Uh... Oh! Second move. Action, rather, a move. And then my last compulsory move. A move. Okay, my last activation is going to be these Stormtroopers. Uh, they're just going to move up. Let's go up here. And we'll take a shot at the bus. Alright, Stormtroopers against the bus. We got Impact 1 with the DLT. Which I'm going to need. Uh, though, can you take away my hit before I convert it? I don't think I have cover. Uh huh. Okay, then just rolling for one. I should have put on Outer Rim Pilot. He's the one who gives you the cover. Is this on? There's a lot of good options for pilots. Oh, well, that's a hit. Yeah, taking a wound. The fleets are going to activate and rally, and they're done. Okay, so here we are at the end of round two. Um, I was able to take off his Rebel Veterans. He took off my strike team 
Looks like Cassie and K2 have that objective over there secured. Uh, and the rest of us are fighting for these two in the middle. His 30, X34 Lance Beater's taking the long way around. Probably going to be uh, looking for a place to drop R2 off soon. Round three coming up. All right, it's round three. Josh played Trust Goes Both Ways. Jin Erso gains Inspire 2. When Jin issues an order to another friendly trooper, that gains that unit gains teamwork. And I played, and now you will die. I'm going for the home run this round with my burst of speed. All right, here's my home run shot. Palp is going to move up with his burst of speed. I want to make sure I can see everybody because I want to kill everybody. That should do it, as far as I can tell. And uh, let's start attacking. Let's attack uh, the Pathfinders first, I guess. All right, well, Pal surges for uh, crits, and he's got Pierce too. So after uh, using Anger, I get Name for my first wound. Uh, it's two hits. Let's see. I'll spend my aim. All right, so cover takes these two away. Josh, you're looking at four. Attacking cover, I'll take suppression. I'm rolling four. I'm looking at four. Mm -hmm. Rolling six. You got Pierce two though. Pierce two. Only two saves, so I took four. So don't kill almost all of them. All right, now Palp is taking another. Wound and Suppression, he gets another aim. We're going to shoot Jin now. All right, no need for the aim there, so we'll save that. So Jin is looking at four. I'll use a dodge. Uh, what did you, what about cover? Did you take my heavy cover into effect? I had, uh, only crits. Four crits. Four crits? So, I'll take a dodge for one, strong one for three, is that right? Yep. Uh, yeah, I don't think she has duck and cover. Saving one, so taking two and a suppression. Well, Pierce, so you'll take Pierce three. Take three and a suppression. And, uh, two suppression. It's oppressive. Oh. All right, uh, Palp's going to take another wound and suppression. Gets another aim. And we'll go for Jin again. All right, spend that aim. That's a crit. It's two crits. You gotta spend so that. two more for cover. So you're looking at three, Josh. I'll use my dodge. So I got two. Alright. Saving. Going for two. It's taking two wounds. Two more suppression. Alright, another wound in suppression. That puts Palp up at four. Got two aims. I never spent my last one. Going for Jin again. I'm gonna spend that aim right here. Spend another aim. Cover. So you're looking at two, Josh. Dodge. Alright, you can't pierce three, can you? Can't pierce three, only piercing two. Two more suppression one more two more suppression? Mm-hmm. That's a lot of suppression. Well, palps at four wounds. I think I'm gonna stop there. Alright, so after that, uh we got Jane with five wounds on her. Her dodge and nimble really were a pain. And kept her alive. Bistan, uh he's Still alive with uh, a wound on him. Palp is sitting with four wounds and four suppression. 
All right, so uh, Jin was able to roll off five suppression, uh, which is great. That brings her down to two and uh, unsuppressed. She is going to inspire two off of the uh, this stand here. Uh, she's going to quick thinking, give herself an aim and a dodge. Uh, which gives Bistan an aim and a dodge since he has teamwork from her command card earlier this round. Then uh, she's going to shoot at Palpatine. All right, here we go. Shooting at Palp. Crit. Two misses. Spend the first aim. Spend the second aim. All right. Two crits. Two crits. Got to save them. Got to save them both. I do. He's alive. All right. I need to hurry up and get my royal guards near Pelp. Otherwise, he's done for. So, let's move over here. Not in range of anyone over over here. So, we'll double move. All right, uh, I'm going to shoot, uh, go with the Pathfinders. Uh, it's going to recover and uh, shoot Palp. Yeah, two crits. That's a good way to start. First aim. Yeah, it's a good start. One more. Ooh, three, crits. three crits. Second aim. Search to hit. Hit goes away to cover, so three crits. All right. Um, Royal Guards with Guardian 2. And they'll defend Shh. two, and then Palp needs to defend this last crit, or he's dead. Oh, I defended it. Ooh, that was close, Josh. You had what you wanted. All right, pulled from the stack. I got my do back. He's going to take an aim and shoot at Bistan up there. All right, that's two hits. That's going to go away to cover, but we'll leave him. Spend the aim. And we got a crit. So one crit, Josh. He's dead. The vehicle, the bus is going to take an aim and shoot at the, uh, Dubak. All right, bus says two aims, shooting at the Dubak there, right in front of it. I have impact two. Got, uh, two crits and a hit to start. I'll spend the first aim. Uh, spend the last aim for some crits here. Didn't get it, but impact two, so. All right, well, armor takes one away, and then I'm rolling for right. the rest. So, one away. five. Uh, I'm only saving one, so that's four wounds. I pulled the core unit. Gonna go with the stormtroopers. And we're going to move up in here. On uh, Medic, of course. And we'll uh, treat a wound off of Palp. Core unit, their uh, fleet troopers are going to rally and uh, uh, act activate and rally. That's it, they're done. All right, pulled my uh, second do back. He uh, rolled off one suppression. And he's just going to move up. reposition and we'll take a shot at Jin on the roof. All right, Jin's on the roof with uh, heavy cover and two dodges. <coughs> we got one crit. You want to spend that dodge, Josh? I think I will. We got a vehicle, so uh, X-34's got Shriv Shurgov. He's going to give a dodge and a suppression to R2-D2. I'm going to take my Pulse remove here. Let's see. So I'm going to take an aim and fire at one of those two. All right, next 34 into the snows. Thank God for that aim. Hmm. Uh, uh, uh. uh. It's pretty so, good. One, two, three, four, five, six? Six. Six. Go. 
Mel has the health of two, so I have exactly six wounds. Oh, saved one, so just a leader. Okay, pulled the core. I'm gonna go up my snow trooper while he's alive. We'll, uh, move up here. The operative, we're gonna go with Cassian. He'll take an aim and shoot at the dewback. Cassian uh, shooting at the dewback aim. I'm going to use my aim to improve that to a crit with the Pierce 1 and do a 1 damage. I pulled the core unit. I'm going to go with my mortar. He'll aim and fire at Jin. Alright, Jin uh, is in heavy cover with two dodges. That's one crit. Let's spend this aim. Um, what am I, critical one? Yep, so that's going to be two crits. Can you spend your two dodges? Yep. Okay. Got an operative? Okay, 2 so is going to take both his actions, and he's going to climb down. Alright, my last unit is going to be the Shores. They're going to uh, take a shot at the land speeder, and then we'll move up over to this wall here. Alright, land speeder's in heavy cover. That's a, that's a crit. Okay, I'll use a shield then. And we got R2-D2, he's going to take a dodge and a standby. Alright, well here's the state of the board at the end of round three. Palp is still alive, he's got three wounds on him. Um, all my forces in the center there are sitting pretty, f sitting pretty. They're uh, safe from the vehicles, which is the main threat right now. Cassian and K2 have that objective still. I'm going to have the center one, and so now it's a matter of who's going to grab that... Uh, that one at the top of the screen there. It's about uh, equal right now. Josh has uh, seven activations. I have eight. So still anyone's game. Round four coming up. Okay, it's round four. Josh played Rebellious. Uh, Jin Urso gains charge. Once per round, when an enemy unit at range one or two and the line of sight of Jin activates, before it performs its rally step, Jin may gain one suppression token and either perform an attack against that unit or perform a free move. And I played Given to Your Anger before an opponent would, opponent would activate their first unit, you may choose an enemy trooper unit. If you do, your opponent must activate that unit instead. Assign it an order token from its order pool unless it has a face-up order token. And at the end of the unit's activation, if it did not attack, it gains four suppression tokens. So Josh is going first. All right, uh, Josh won priority. My command card is going to force him to go with the fleet troopers first. Um, so Josh, what do you want to do with them? I can't do anything with them. Can you keep them in the bus? Yes. All right, so they're just gonna stay in the bus and uh, they'll gain force suppression since they didn't attack. Okay, for my first activation, I'm gonna go with Palpatine. Um, but Jin will interrupt with her command card, and she's going to attack. Hey, right, Jin, uh, doing her interrupt attack on Palpatine. No aim. Huh, that's great. Alright, uh, I'll guard you with the Royal Guards. And they'll block it. Pierce one. So, one wound on the Royal Guards. Okay, so after, uh, Palpatine... Survive Jin's attack. He's suppressed, and he's going to attack her back. See if we can clear her off the board. Okay, Palpatine on Jin. Jin has heavy cover and a dodge. That's uh, two crits and a hit. So two crits with Pierce two, Josh. Uh, you're going to dodge one, but you'll take the other one. So she's dead. No, I have danger sense. So, so you've got you got two crits. You say so. I use the dodge for one. So you got one crit. One crit. Then. All right. So board. I'm rolling five dice. So give me a chance. Oh, okay, okay. Save. Only two. Saves two though. Oh, I needed one. Oh, that's yeah. But you pierced two, so I, that's, I'm dead. And I got an operative. I'll go with Cassian. You can only see one. Uh, Opponent, so he's gonna aim and shoot at that one dewback. All right, Cassian shooting at the dewback. 
And crits Pierce one. I use my aim to imp improve one of them to a crit, and then these Pierce one. Pull the core unit. I'm gonna go with these shores, and they're just going to uh, double move. I right, pulled a, another operative. I'm gonna go with K2SO. He's gonna make one move over here and fire at the uh, Dubak. All right, K2SO shooting at the Dubak. Ooh, only one crit. Spin that aim. Another crit. So two crits. I got Pierce one and suppressive. Two saves, but Pierce one, so taking a wound and two suppression. All right, pulled a do back. I uh, was unable to roll off any suppression, so just one action for him. He will reposition. We will move. And then uh, shoot, K2. Do All right, do back uh, on K2. Uh, just one hit, so armor will take that out. All right, compulsory move. Slightly short, just have him so we don't displace him. And then I'm going to shoot at the uh, tripod, mortar trooper. All right, uh, X34 is shooting at the uh, mortar trooper. That's a hit. Those are planks. That's a hit. Six hits. Six hits. Uh, two saves, but that's gonna kill him. Okay, I pulled my uh, second dude back. He will uh, reposition, and then we'll spur. And then let's uh, take a regular move. We'll reposition a little bit. Not a regular move up. Okay, the Dubak's going to use Relentless and take a shot at K2. That's one crit. Seriously? If I blank on that... Alright, we got the uh, the bus. The bus is going to take an aim. And shoot at the Dubak with more suppression on it. Uh, changing the target to the one with less suppression because we determined that the one with more suppression has heavy cover. Mm, I'm gonna keep that. We do not surge though. So spend an aim. Huh. Two crits. Okay, two crits, two crits, two crits. We can save these. Yeah, we can. All right, pull the core. I'll go with these stormtroopers. They'll uh, treat Palpatine. And then they're going to uh, bolt across this danger alley here. I've got R2 left, uh, so he's going to take a dodge and a standby. Okay, my last unit is the snow trooper. And he's just going to double move. Let's see, double move. Let's get into here. Alright, my last activation actually are the Royal Guards. And uh, they're going to stay near Palp, but let's at least touch the objective. 
Okay, so here we are at the end of round four. Um, we're all rushing for the objectives at this point. Um, forces are thin. Josh has a couple big hitters left. Um, let's see what happens. Anyone's game. Here are the cards for round five. Josh played Crack Shot. Casting Andor gains Gunslinger and a name token. At the end of his activation, he can gain a suppression token and a standby. And I played Ambush. Uh, we tie priority. Josh rolled. And I will be going first this round. All right, so uh, my first activation is going to be with this Dewback that I issued an order to. And he will... Uh, he's going to spur twice. And get into melee with K2. Okay, Dewback's meleeing uh, K2. I got Tenacity. So that's a hit. That's actually a crit. So Josh, you're looking at a uh, four total. Two crits and two hits. Mm -hmm. Armor one will take that away. So I'll roll for three. And only save two. All right, Cassian's gonna go. He's gonna take an aim and shoot at the one do back who's not in melee, and then the second shot will be at those two shore troopers that he can see down the way. The only other people I think he can see on the map. Um, uh, Cassian shooting at the. Uh, Two back. Hmm. I think I'll just use one aim to improve that to a crit. So do one damage to the do back. That will kill him. No, well, they have uh, six health, remember? Oh, they do have six health. I keep forgetting that. I do, I do. He's alive. All right, second shot at the uh, shores. And I'm going to do the same. Use that to improve that to a crit and kill one. All right, I pulled a core unit. Gonna go with these stormtroopers here. I thought about shooting that X-34 for a second, but it's round five. So that's not gonna happen. Oh, I forgot to do my tactician at the beginning of the bus uh, activation, but I get two aims to give out. We'll give out those aims here within range three. So I got, oh, I do I get an aim for myself that way though. That's good. All right, so its first uh, action is going to be to shoot at this dewback, and then I'll move after that. All right, uh, bus shooting at the dewback. What aim? He's got heavy cover. I got sharpshooter one. Uh, that's much better. Ooh, no aim required. I don't even. Yeah, no, no aim required, right? So that'll take away that impact to go to this. Armor takes one away. So actually, I might as well use my aim and go for... Oh, no, it only takes one away. So yeah, I'll take two hits. So it's rolling for four. Gotta save them all. Gotta save them all. Nope. All right, dead dude back. All right, and then for my second action, bus is just going to move forward here to get in range of the Shriv. Shurgov. Shurgov? Still don't know how to pronounce it right. All right, pull the core. Gonna go with these shore troopers here, and we're gonna try to get up to our objective. Might be a little short. Just shy. Might be just shy. So nice to kill them. I got the cores. Uh, so the fleets. I did not roll off any suppression. So, uh, they are just uh, going to do nothing. I pulled my last core unit. I'm just going to go with this uh, Snow Trooper. And he'll uh, move up into contact with the objective. All right, uh, Operative K2SO. He had three aims. Going to get another one. Going to go with four aims and uh, melee against the... Do back. All right, first roll. Going for crits. I don't like that. You don't need crits. He has armor one, right? Yeah. Oh, then I'm gonna reroll these two. It's one crit. Spin that, reroll these two. It's 
So let's just go with three for sure. Yeah, three for sure. Three for sure then. Armor one. Yeah, three for sure. I'm not going to spend any more aims. Let's just lose it. Uh, that's going to be two wounds. That yeah, will kill him. Yeah, all right. That's, that's what we need. My last activation is the Royal Guards. They're going to uh, clamor up here. All right, uh, got the vehicle X-34. I'm going to take a compulsory move forward. And I'm going to take another kind of short move for the second one. Just so that I can see these two here unobscured. And then we're going to shoot at the shores. Alright, X-34 is shooting at the shore troopers. Oh, not very good at all. Look at that, Jeff. Three hits. Three hits, though. That... Jeez. Three Look at all those black blood. Three black blanks. What's up with my black luck? Oh, uh, saving one. We got the unit leaders le left. Uh, last activation is R2. Uh, I'm not going to take off my suppression so that he can stay unattackable that last round. So that means he gets one activation. So we're going to attack that uh, last short trooper in heavy cover. That three white dice. Pierce one is oppressive. That's three blanks. So at the end of round five, here's what the board looks like. Uh, I have this uh, center objective pretty well covered. That will be, uh, be mine. But Cassian's got that objective. And this, uh, this one on the top is up for grabs. It's looking like it's gonna go Josh's way. It's the final round. Josh played last stand. When Cassian Andor issues an order to a commander or operative, that unit gains indomitable and gains an aim, dodge, or suppression token for each wound token that unit has up to three, and I played push. We rolled off and I won priority, so I'll be going first. All right, for my first activation, I'm going to go with this shore trooper. He was unable to uh, roll off that suppression. So he is just going to move into base contact. All right, so I'm going to go with Cassian here. I'm trying to kill that shore trooper. All right, Cassian, need a hit. Ah, we got two crits, so good, that'll kill him. Okay, my next activation, I'll go with these stormtroopers. And my idea is to see if I can block K2SO. Oh, that's not a bad idea, actually. Because, yeah, you could you could take up that whole side, couldn't from you? touching this wall. We did agree that the crates are active on the other side. They count, right? The crates do count. So I, I got to get to either, one, either side of that. But that might be a hard ask, actually. Interesting. That's probably all I can get. For cohesion, range one. No, I can get a little further. And then they'll take a dodge. Alright, I got uh, gotta go with K2SO and I'm gonna aim and fire at the sh uh, stormtroopers. You have a dodge? Yeah. First aim, that's not bad though. Second aim. Third aim. Right. Three well, crits with Pierce one. Can't spend my dodge. So, rolling three. Saving Wait. three, Pierce piercing. One. So, Saving taking two. a wound. Just taking one, one uh, mini off. All right, I pulled the core. I'm going to go with the snow trooper. And he's just going to uh, take a dodge and a standby. All right, I pulled an uh, uh, operative, which means uh, R2. So he's going to take a uh, dodge and a standby. Okay, I pulled uh, Palpatine. He was able to roll off two suppression. He's just going to move into base contact here and take a standby. Uh, all right, I got a vehicle. I'm going to go with the bus. It's going to reposition before it moves into... Uh, See, it was like that, so that means I can go not full, but about there, which is pretty much exactly what I wanted to go. And then it's just going to do a not full move, so it's touching there. And I'm going to shoot at these two. 
I can see three, but he's still, but I can see him, so I'm gonna shoot at these three stormtroopers. Bus well, shooting into heavy cover storms, can only see three of them. No aims, no nothing. A lot of blanks. Two hits into heavy cover, aren't gonna do nothing. Take expression, but that won't matter. Okay, so my last activation is the Royal Guards. They're just gonna take a aim and a standby. All right, I pulled the core. The, the fleets are making their appearance. Uh, they are two suppression, so they are suppressed. They're still within range of shrimp, so they're not panicked yet. But they're gonna take their one action to disembark. I'm just gonna sit here right in front. Nice of you guys to show up and win the game. Okay, well, with the fleet troopers disembarking, uh, that's gonna be the game. Josh, uh, Josh secured this objective with Cassian. He has the bus and the fleets versus my stormtroopers on this objective. And uh, we didn't even bother going with the X-34, who in all likelihood could have touched it as well. And uh, and I had this one. So it's going to be two objectives to one, plus R2 had his secret mission. So it's actually three to one. Josh wins. Well, there you have it. Uh... You know, for a minute there, it looked like uh, it was going my way, but in the end, I got my butt kicked three to one. So, uh, the bus and the fleets and Cassian, you know, even though they didn't seem like they were doing much the whole game. No, they totally were the linchpins in what they needed to be. I agree, yeah, they, they were boring and uh, I didn't feel like they were that effective mid up to midway, but... In the end, they did exactly what I needed them to do. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I did not feel great at the beginning of this game once I realized how you deployed on top of all the buildings. Right, I forgot. You did have a lot of limited melee capabilities at the beginning. And I was um, stuck at the bottom with all my melee yeah. and the do-backs that can't climb. So I didn't feel great at the beginning. And then at some point in the game, I was feeling better. I think after... Uh, after I, I thought for sure the Rebels were doomed after round two, but... Yeah. How do you like your first time driving the bus? I mean, I like it. It's a bit costly. Uh, it's it's unwieldy. Luckily, it didn't have to move much. If I had the reckless driver on it and had to make the compulsory move, I'm not sure I would like it as much. You probably wouldn't have these objectives. You'd be uh, yeah, going right? all over the place. It, it, exactly. So it, it's kind of a, a, a caveat with the X-34. X-34 is a little bit more maneuverable, so I don't find it as much of a pain. But having a compulsory move on a very large uh, vehicle... I don't think I'd like it, so I don't know. We'll, we'll try it with the Reckless Driver one of these times. But right now I like it for just a tank to dump out some wussy fleets at the end on an objective. Exactly how they did. That's kind of what I'm hoping its use is. I gotta tell you, I always hate R2 on the X-34. And now that you have Shriv giving him suppression, Yeah, you know, after you killed, after you got him with the, you know, and, and you have the bounty coming, I figured I, I've got to find a way to protect him, and I, and I like it. It's a bit costly to do, but having the whole game, not not having R2 ever uh, being attacked, I like that a lot. It's kind that's, of gu guaranteed objective. Yeah, it's such a dirty play. <laughs> uh, he, he can repair the X-34, so if you're going to try and kill it to get to him, you're going to have to spend a lot of activations and dice to do it, so I like it. So I think it's like my favorite I uh, hate it. It's like an combo of the Rebels, if you will. An invincible R2. Alright, well, good game. Yeah. I think, uh, I like Palpatine. He was fun. Uh, I still hate him. Yeah, he's he does a lot of damage in one round, and it is very hard to come back from or mitigate. Uh, despite that, I still came through. I was on the fence about bringing force barrier or for force push, and I never used force barrier. You never used force barrier, and who knows? You know, you probably would have used force push if you I had it. I'm I would have sure. definitely used force push. Um, but you also would have had to get within that range one. So yeah, it would have taken an action, an activation or two to do that. So, I'm on Team Force Push, I think. I yeah, gave for Bar Jedi Powers. Yeah, I gave I think Barry so. a try. I agree. I not, think for, not for me. I think that's the better of the two. All right. Well, uh, good game, Josh. Thank you, everyone, for watching another video. Uh, we'll see you in a couple weeks.